Few sports come with social distancing quite like golf. And in Bloomington, a new way to enjoy it with an upgraded course that some have waited decades to see. It's IU's major swing and it opened to the public today. Sports director Dave First with the Sports Extra Spotlight. The sun is shining again on IU's golf course, the grand opening of its brand new facility at a place where you'll find men's coach Mike Mayer going over the fine details. Are you kind of like a proud father when you look at this place now? Uh, beyond proud. Yeah. I'm beyond proud. It's, uh, it's spectacular. Gone is the aging IU course, which took its lumps over the years, replaced with this sprawling, fescue-laced facility, which is set to rival some of the top collegiate courses in the country. Mike is beginning his 23rd season as the men's coach. In a Zoom interview, Clint Wallman is beginning his 17th as the women's coach. What can a course like this mean to you? Well, I think that's a great question, um, and, and that's, you know, been probably kind of one of the mainstays of, 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 you know, our recruiting pitch is that, you know, now we have a facility that is, you know, top of its class. Estimated at around a $9 million upgrade and named after donor Ned Fow, whose grandson Jack just graduated from the program. The course can play at a manageable 6,100 yards or for tournaments, how about teeing off on the par 5 ninth at a whopping 630 yards to a total of 7,900 for a round, all nestled next to the IU campus. I enjoy looking at the golf course from the front tees, and I think it's stunningly gorgeous from the back tees where the men's team plays. So. What a luxury. You're literally a few blocks away from campus. So if they want to, in between classes, come over and hit some balls, they can do that. You know, timing is everything. Yeah. Uh, timing from Ned Fowl, his donation for this, the timing to get this built. And, and, and time is a valuable commodity if you're in school. Designed by noted architect Steve Smyers and two-time major champ Fuzzy Zeller, it's about recruiting, development, it's not tricked up, and aside from the dog legs, about as straightforward as it gets. But the upgrade... This is taking IU golf to the next level, isn't it? It's a game changer. I don't think there's going to be a more difficult golf course in the country if it's set up, if we need it to be set up difficult. If you play well here, you just might play well anywhere. Day first, RTV6 Sports.